Hi folks, welcome to, <clears throat> that was a very pathetic introduction, welcome to another beer review, sweating my absolute bollocks off, so I thought, what better beer to have than an Imperial Stout, and today's Stout is from Overtone, who we've not had anything from, don't know why I'm saying we, it's just one person, that I've not had anything from for quite a while, and this is Chai Wright, which is a... 9% ABB Chai Latte Stout. So another addition to our Latte Stout series, this time bringing a winter warmer to the range. Milk sugar is added to a thick stout base before being conditioned with chai spices. Hops are Magnum. And does this have coffee in as well? I'm not seeing coffee. No, I don't think it actually does. Does it? Oh my god, my eyes are terrible. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It sounds lovely. And this was kindly gifted to me by Adam, aka Mose Beers, who's not a big fan of chai. So he just said, why don't you have it? Free beer is free beer. Um, unless it's really shit beer. Then that's just really shit beer. But I do like a good chai tea or chai latte. Ice chai latte, very nice. S -a basic bitch, but I embrace it. And I tell you what, that is pouring very, very smooth. It's on the lower end um, of the spectrum, or scale, not spectrum, that's a completely different conversation. I'm definitely on the spectrum though. I think we all are to an extent, that's why there's a spectrum. Um, but yeah, 9% ABV. It's not described as an Imperial Stout to give it some credit on the can. Just a chai latte stout that's a higher ABV. But, you know, I don't know the brewing guidelines of what constitutes Imperial. I know different people have different... And yes, you did hear me slap my thighs because um, it's too warm for pants. And I don't do shorts, so I'm just stood in my boxes in the kitchen where people can look out. Do I care? No, I don't. So beer didn't pour with any head at all. And that looks like melted dark, dark chocolate. A lovely sort of dark beige looking head. Nothing is getting through that, or is that? No, that's just the reflection. Anyway. Looking very, very nice indeed. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> Don't know what's up with my throat. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, and you could definitely smell those spices. Like star anise. I don't know if that's chai, but it's very star anise. It's got a really musky, smoker, smoky, slightly peppery character to it. Cinnamon, ginger. Oh, I've forgotten the name of so many spices. What am I, what am I trying to think of? Not star anise. Maybe clove. Yeah, a little bit of clove. Slight dark chocolate. Very dark chocolate, but very slight. But yeah, if if you're not a big fan of like those sorts of spice blends then you're going to be put off straight away by the, the actual aroma. I for me, I for me, what am I talking about? I for one, actually really, really like that nose. It's just something a bit different, which I very, very much welcome. So we'll see if it's as in your face on the flavour as it is on the taste, oh, for God's sake, on the flavour as it is on the taste on the nose. Aroma, shut up and drink. Cheers, that's my mantra. First thing I'm gonna say is, just like the nose, if you're not into that sort of chai latte, chai spice blend, spice blend sort of thing, you're really not going to like this one. 
you really, really not. I think this is an absolutely bang tidy beer. Um, I'd imagine this was maybe brewed towards Christmas time. It's got those sort of like festive spiced um, Christmassy beers sort of character. Lovely body. It's like a, it's silky, but it's a light body, but it's not watery. There's no like bulk to it, but it leaves a very nice oily lining on the inside of your mouth. To me, the spices aren't too overwhelming. You can clearly taste them. You get the aftertaste of them. You feel them. But it's so easy to brew a beer like this, I would imagine, and go a bit too over the top where it just completely destroys um, any semblance of enjoyment of what the beer should be. But for me, I think it works really, really well. Um, you could easily pass this off as like a pumpkin spice uh, beer because a lot of those spice blends are very, very similar and interchangeable. A good pumpkin beer is actually brewed with pumpkin for me. I think the best one I've ever had going off track is from Steamworks out of Canada, but then they picked Germany to have a base as well. And they did like a really nice big, like old school, even though it's Canadian, American style bomber bottle. And that was lovely because you could actually taste like the earthiness from the pumpkin. I won't lie, I've not had a chai, like chai tea or a chai spice latte for a long time. So I can't tell you right off the bat if this reminds me of going to a coffee house, probably Starbucks, let's be honest. We like to support independent, but we always go back to places like McDonald's, Starbucks, that sort of thing. And yeah, it, it's got that character and even though I don't think there is coffee in there the latte side of things do actually come out um because it's got got this like coffee like lingering bitterness to it but now I think that's just the right amount of like spices in there and it works really really well lovely base stout I would imagine the sort of like, would it be the oils that come out of these spices that you use might sort of like make that body a little bit lighter. But no, I can't, I can't fault this at all. And I'm very, very happy that Adam didn't like it so I could have it. But no, it's really, really nice. Really, really nice. Don't get me wrong. Don't think I could have, I mean, 9% but mind you. Doesn't matter if it's 2% or 9%. If you're on a sesh, you're on a sesh. Lads. Um, I'm so not part of that culture, am I? Um, but I'm, I'm actually really glad that I'm not. But, um, yeah, I don't think you could, like, rush this sort of beer. I don't know if you'd be in a situation where you'd have a high volume of this beer, unless you really, really liked it, then fair dues, but it is a bit rich. That lingering aftertaste does build after a little while, but it never becomes overwhelming, and I think it works remarkably, remarkably well. And I'd imagine this was released uh, quite a few months ago, but it's, it's holding those flavours, beautiful chocolatey roasted malt character. And yeah, lovely stuff indeed. And this is chilled down as well. So that was Overtone with Chai Wright. Great artwork once again from Overtone. You know, paying homage to like old school sort of like rave posters. Because you're not supposed to view the artwork like that. You're supposed to view the artwork like that. 
with the circle and just the, it's not too stereotypical in your face either. I really, really like that. It's a smart looking car. And um, yeah, it's got me thinking I should have much more overtone because I've had really great experiences with them. Even though I wish they'd start brewing the coffee IPAs again because I thought they were awesome. They've probably brewed quite a lot um, in the like last couple of years that I've been a fan of overtone. Um, and I've just missed out on them. But no, that's really, really good. I'm rambling now. So massive, massive thank you to Adam. Um, really appreciated. Lovely little drop. Um, I'll go on then, go on then. And um, if you get that reference, then you're obviously on Instagram. And um, yeah, go check out Overtone. I'm a prick. Um, but we all knew that already. Links in the description. I've got a pizza out of a freezer that didn't seem to be plugged in properly so things have started to defrost which is a catastrophe because uh, I've got a barbecue planned up but, but this stuff's not defrosted enough to worry about having them refreeze and then there's like a big like layer of ice at the bottom which was a pain in the ass to get rid of um, so I don't know how that's happened so fingers crossed the stuff will freeze over again um, but yeah, why am I telling you that? I don't know. I'm basically just telling you I'm a fat bastard and I've got some pizza to enjoy. But before I do that, I'm going to sit in the garden, have a cig, drink some more of this beer. And um, yeah, don't know why I needed to know that. But I've told you, fucking live with it. Links in the description. Cheers for watching. You all take care, stay safe. And um, this is my new pose now. Bye-bye.